Hello, welcome to lesson 53, Collections in C Sharp, Part 1, Array List, brought to you by Angbro Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn what is collection. C Sharp also includes a specialized classes that hold many values or objects in a specific series that are called collection. It, it means like C Sharp is having a set of specialized classes and those specialized classes having set of objects in a series, okay, and they are that specialized class we called as collection. Okay. Keep in mind there are two types of collections in C Sharp. They are called non-generic collection and generic collection. And every collection uh, class implements the enumerable interface. So values from the collection can be accessed using a for each loop. Keep in mind all the collections, whether it is a generic and non-generic collection, their class, non-generic collection class or generic collection class, it implements the enumerable interface so the values from the collection can be accessed using the for each loop that is the speciality of enumerable interface and every collection will make use of that enumerable interface okay and this is what about the collection is right now in this session or in this slide what we are going to learn is we are going to concentrate only on non generic collection and generic collection when we learn generics there we we'll learn about generic collection right now as of now we we'll learn only the non generic collection Okay, here is a list of non-generic collection. Non-generic collection includes array list, sorted list, stack, queue, and hash table. And uh, in, in this session, we are going to concentrate only on array list. Okay, what is array list? Array list stores objects of any type, like an array. It means in array, we uh, it means in an array, we can if it is an integer type, we can store only in, in uh, numerical numbers in it if it is a string array then you can store the string type and if it is an float double or whatever the other type it is based on the respective types we can store the values to that array but coming to array list array list stores objects of any type like an array that is the advantage of array list it can store any values like whether it, it can be an integer or a string or a float or a double okay However, there is no need to specify the size of the array list. This is the second advantage. First advantage is it will take any type of uh, values to store in it. And the second thing is there is no need to specify the size of an array list. Like, uh, but the size grows automatically as whenever you add the values to it. But coming to array, uh, it is must and should. You have to specify the size of array at the starting itself. But array list is not like that. Whenever you add items or values to, values to that array array list, uh, by default, by automatically the size grows. That is the advantage of array list over array. And in this session, we are going to concentrate only on array list. Right now, without wasting time, we we'll understand what array list is. What is array list? Array list is a non-generic type of collection, as we saw in the last slide, and it can contain elements of any data types. It means in array list you can store the elements of any types, whether it can be a string, integer, float, double, or whatever it is. It is similar to an array, except that it's similar to an array, except that it grows automatically as you add an items in it. That's what we learned in the last slide. Unlike an array, you don't need to specify the size of an array list. That is the major advantage of an array. And how to initialize the array list? It's simple. Um, just call the array list class name and initialize the variable of it or object of it. Then use new keyword, then specify the array list with the double brackets closed. This is how you'll initialize the array list. Right now, without wasting much time, let us go, let us jump into Visual Studio and let us create or initialize an array list. Okay, here is a console template for that. Okay, let us initialize an array list. How do I initialize? Array list. Okay. This array list is present in system dot collections. Okay, this array list is present in system dot collection namespace. You can observe here at the top you are having a system dot collections and it is bolded because we are using array list. And I'll name it as I'll call a variable name as array object name as array list and array list. Okay, this is this is how you will initialize an array list. This is how we have uh, defined an array list in our program. And this is what about initialization is. And the important thing is what this array list consists of. Since array list is a class, class can consist of methods and properties. Right now, what we'll do is we'll explore what are the classes, what are the methods and properties which are present in the array list. Okay, we'll jump into presentation. And here we have uh, properties of uh, properties and methods of array list right now in this slide we have only properties what are the properties it has it has capacity count is fixed size is read only or item okay what is this capacity uh, capacity gets or sets the number of elements that the array list can contain 
means if you use the proper if you use uh, the capacity property it uh, it tells you uh, what is the number of uh, elements that an array list can contain count it counts the number of elements present in the array list uh, is fixed size it tells you like it gives you a value indicating whether that array list has a fixed size or not is read only it get, gets a value indicating whether other array list is read only or we can go and edit it or write only our item gets or gets or sets the item element as a specific index okay these are the simple properties which are present in the array list right now we'll jump into methods okay method add add range like if you want to add an element to an array list then we have to make use of uh, add method uh, if you want to insert something to the if you're already having a array array list then if you want to insert uh, some element at the second position then we have to use insert insert method remove method sort reverse clear copy to get range index of and to array these are some of the methods which are present in the array list right now without wasting much time we'll go and we'll code and we'll use some of the methods which are present in the array list okay right now what we did was we just initialized an array now what we'll do is with the help of this method add method let us try to add some values to it how do i use that it's very simple we have to call that array name array list name then i have to press dot operator then if i type add we can observe here we have a add method which is present in this array list class okay now how do i add the element if i want to add an integer it's very simple then i have to pass one to that method add method that's all my element is added if i want to add like string how do i add it it's very simple hang pro technologies okay okay a realist dot add i would like to add some float number 3.451 okay now what did i do here is i added some elements uh, uh three elements three types they are like integer and you can find string there and you can find a float number there okay now uh, what did we do we, with the with the use of add method we tried to add elements to an array list and i was successful we were successful doing that okay now uh, once i have stored the elements to an array then how do i access it back uh, how do i get them back it's very simple uh, array list uh, array elements can be accessed using indexer uh, in the same way as an array how do we access an array in the same way you can access an elements access elements in the array list using an indexer uh, but uh, however you need you need to cast it to the appropriate type or use the implicit type var keyword while accessing it uh, it means that if you want to access element from the array list then what we have to do uh, we have to like uh, var or i'll take like uh, integer i'll take like first element i'm going to access the first element how do i do that it's very simple element equals uh since this is a integer type what i have to do is i have to uh first cast first i have to type cast to the particular type whatever i'm trying to access since it is a integer i'm trying to uh, uh type cast it in the integer format then i have to call that array list name and i have to pass the index of it like array of 0 similarly if i want the second one it is of string type then i have to second element equals and i have to type cast it like string array list of 1 okay similarly if i want the third one it's a float number so what i have to do is i have to float third element then since this is a float i have to type cast it to the particular type then i have to call that array list the particular index since it is at the second position okay this is how i called my i access my elements first using the indexer and i have converted it to particular implicitly converted to particular type then i'm trying to store it in my first element okay now what i'll do is uh, i'll just call this first element now 
when I run this program you can observe the respective values which are present here will be printed on the console okay it's throwing some exception let's wait for that okay let's see what is the exception is okay float okay this is the third element what I have to do is without uh, making it like uh, string what le what what le what we do is let us uh, change it to var type when you run this program you can observe okay let's understand what the exception is first specify cast is not valid specified okay what is the cast here okay this is an integer type and this is a string let's remove this okay let us try to run now okay it's printing like uh, one and ang pro technologies as expected uh, some issue with the casting uh, since uh, since it is a float number we have to provide this uh, suffix at the end if but I did not do that that's the problem it throwed me error but as of now we are in this array list we are having two items uh, we have stored it and how do I access it back uh, and I can access them using the indexer I'm using indexer here I'm creating an object then I'm passing a particular index using that index I'm trying to access the elements I'm storing it in the first element variable similarly the second one string type I'm storing in the second element variable and I'm trying to print it this is how we'll store we'll add elements to an array list and retrieve back them using the indexer now um, how do I iterate this array list it's very simple now I'll just remove this part using for each loop we can iterate it very easily uh, for each that is where item the item name or the variable name will give it as a simple list the collection name is array list okay I'll come here and I'll just print the simple list and obviously it has to print the elements okay it, since it is printing like one anchor technologies and two one is one and two is anchor technologies this is how you can use for each loop to iterate the particular uh, collection that is array list okay and now what we'll do is now in this program we just learned how to add elements and how to retrieve back and how to iterate the loop uh, how to retrieve the collection but we'll uh, look into some other uh, methods which are present in the uh, array list like let us look at the insert okay what is this insert method going to do uh, for example I would like to call array list uh, dot insert okay this insert is taking like uh, the index value and the object what you are trying to pass what is the value you are trying to store like uh, this this uh, value 1 is at the uh, at the index of 0 1 but in the first place I'm having anchor technology the first index I'm having anchor technology but uh, at the first index I want some other thing like I want to print C sharp there then how do I do it it's very simple I have to pass the particular index name like 1 this is 0 and this is 1 okay 1 then I have to pass the value what is the value like I want to pass like hello world okay this is very simple hello world and now when I run this program you can observe it will be printed like one hello world then ang pro technologies because at the first position I'm hello world is going and placing there then ang pro technologies immediately come down to the next position so when I run this you can observe one hello world and ang pro technologies this is the output we expected and we got it like uh, as expected okay this is what the insert method does now we'll uh, do something the other method called remove okay um, our dot remove now if I want to remove this first value this is the one okay which is present at the index zero if I want to remove this one how do I do that it's very simple you have to pass the value directly now when I save this and run we'll get only anchor technologies on the screen because we use the remove method and we have passed the value called one and that particular value be value will be removed from the array list okay then the other method we have called uh, reverse okay uh, what is this reverse going to do it's very simple uh, I would like to pass okay I would like to add few sentences I would like to like to add few elements first list dot add three here I would like to pass like a two sorry two five okay now when I run this program 
will get the output like one, two, three, four, five. But if I want to print it in the reverse order, then array list array list class is having a method called reverse. It will just call that method. It will probably it will make the entire list to print in the reverse order. Now what I'll do is just make the difference. I'll call like this. Uh, if I want to print it in the other order if I want to like uh, the reverse then I'll use another for each loop the var item I'll name it as uh, reverse the collection name I'll parse it as array list okay like I'll pass the variable name reverse now what did I do is before doing this I have to call this array list then I have to call the particular order that is reverse reverse method to reverse the array okay now once I'm done with this what I'll do is I'll run this program you can observe this is the normal order of array list it is printing in the correct format like 1 2 3 4 5 but we use a reverse method it is going to print the elements which are present in the array list in the reverse order like 5 4 3 2 1 this is the import this is one of the method which is present in the array list similarly you have the other methods you can go and explore uh, I would like to show the other one like uh, remo uh, dot clear uh, what it does it removes all the elements in the array list how do I do that uh, it's very simple I'll come here like uh, instead of this I'll call like uh, clear okay now when I run this program you can observe normal order of the list is printed like 1 2 3 4 5 but the reverse order is not printed why because at till this point of time the program got executed immediately when the program when the compiler see this like array list dot clear it removes all the elements present in the array list so we did not get the reverse list of elements this is the what the specialty of clear method also okay and uh, thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to acro training below